Hi, thanks for joining me today. I've got another quick video. We're going to be proving that sine of x is less than x for all positive real numbers x. Now, there are a few ways you can do this, uh, but this is proof uses just quite a nice slick trick. So proof, uh, well, firstly, we're going to notice that we only need to prove this, need to prove for x between 0 and 1. And why is this true? Well, when x is at least 1, well, then that means that this right hand side is at least 1. And we know that sine of x, regardless of what x is, is always going to be at most 1. So this inequality is trivially true. So we only need to worry about x between 0 and 1. And then what I'm going to do is make the observation that if we have two functions, f and g, from some interval a, b to the reals, and f is less than g and both continuous. So two functions, f and g, f is less than g, and f and g are both continuous functions. Well, if this is true, then we must have that the integral from a to b of f of, let's say, u du must be less than the integral from a to b of g of u du. So if this is true, then this is true. Now, how do I know this? Well, there's a few ways you can prove this. You can prove it graphically if you want, or perhaps the easiest way to do it is just by saying let h be equal to g minus f. Then h is positive everywhere, and therefore the integral from a to b of h of u du must be positive and h of u is g of u minus f of u and so using the linearity of the integral you get the result here. So we'll use this result to prove that sine of x is less than x so what we're going to do is just let a equal 0, b equal x and notice that we have that a is less than b because we're, we're assuming that x is positive uh, so a is 0, b is x, f is going to be the function cosine of x or cosine of u, I'll say, so f of u is cosine of u, and g of u is just going to be the constant function 1. And notice that we're only interested in x between 0 and 1, so I guess in theory we could have this interval being 0, 1, or we can make this an open interval, in fact, uh, and it still works. So, therefore, we have that the integral from 0 to x of cosine of u du must be less than the integral from 0 to x of 1 du. This left hand side, well the integral of cosine is sine, so if we plug in the limits we get sine of x minus sine of 0, but sine of 0 is 0, so we get sine of x is less than x, because the integral of 1 between 0 and x is just the length of the interval which is x. So we get sine of x is less than x, and that's a horrible square, that's a little better, QED. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next one, have a great day.